Okay, recording this video after close of trade Tuesday, 22nd of March 2011. Extremely quiet day in terms of volume and range today. Uh, you can see here on the daily chart again, only 1.2 million contracts traded, and uh, we ended up closing down five. The range top to bottom was just over seven points, which is uh, you know pretty pathetic. We couldn't even finish th um, manage to uh, finish up with a gap fill uh, between the high on uh, Friday and the low today. I think we're at a kind of pretty significant level though. This is almost like uh, a no supply type pattern on the way down, um, showing a lack of sellers at this point. Uh, show you the higher time frame tip bar charts, the 40,500 tip bar chart. So yesterday we kind of topped out uh, with an end of trend warning signal here, blue professional bar at the highs, Rambo patterns kind of overnight. And then we've come into a cyclical uh, support area here at 1288 blue professional bar towards the end of the day that kind of come in and held that support. I think this is a pretty kind of key level that we need to hold to go forward. So I'm looking for a break either up or down. If we look at the uh, 4,500 tip bar chart, again yesterday, as I said, we kind of maxed out uh, end of trend warning signal here. And I was talking about this exhaustion point, whether that was actually exhaustion buying at this point, having had exhaustion selling on the downside, didn't signal on better momentum, but the levels were very, very close in terms of the extremeness of this move. So it did look as if that was kind of an extreme uh, level of buying up here, and we kind of just uh, kind of gradually um, had a comp complex correction down, all these kind of batting, and, uh, batting backwards and forwards between these support and resistance levels here. Now you can see you know, today's activity at 12.88. Each time we came into 12.88, blue professional bar, exhaustion selling on the downside, we had um, bullish divergence, we held the first time, came into this level at about uh, 92.93, blue professional bar, you know, kind of a little bit of selling, but then when we come into 88 again, you know, blue professional bars, exhaustion, selling, and so on, and then towards the close of the day, we're back at 88. So, this is like a triple bottom here. I don't particularly like triple bottoms, uh, but what it means is this level here for the professionals kind of coming and buying at 88 is is really significant. So, it needs to hold going forward. Uh, we've had this kind of uh, low volume, small range down move. You know, we could easily see an explosion of range out of this on the upside. But again, this level needs to hold, and I don't particularly like kind of triple bottoms here. They tend to, uh, you know, have a higher probability of failing. So uh, that's what I'll be looking for: uh, much more range uh, tomorrow, and kind of an explosive move either to the upside, which I think is my bias, given you know kind of a higher time frame, better sine wave, for example, on the daily chart. Um, uh, versus a break to the downside, but you know, we could easily kind of break a little bit to the downside. You know, uh, get some more fuel, uh, f manage to uh, get a gap fill, and then kind of rock it back again. So that's you know a couple of ways this could kind of play out. In terms of day trading, was um, very tricky. I was trying to uh, get any kind of a breakout. Uh, kind of early on on the 1500 tip bar chart and ended up chasing uh, kind of breakout levels to see if they were going to uh, move into uh, some kind of trending move. What was interesting for me on the 1500 tip bar chart, we initially had an icebreaker trade here, kind of first blue professional bar after the open, cyclical uh, support and so on. Didn't make the two points uh, on the upside, but got out uh, just for uh, three quarters of the point at this Rambo pattern here when we kind of uh, hit this high Rambo and just uh, you know fell off, but then we kind of got caught a little bit with some blue professional bars kind of coming in and we kind of rallied a little bit, but then there were no blue professional bars here at all for the longest time, and so it was difficult to kind of key off any of these levels to see what where the professionals were actually getting in. But the best trade I I found. Uh, was uh, this blue professional bar. So it was an up professional bar. We'd had a cyclical uh, resistance level print and exhaustion buying at this point. We kind of went a little bit too far too fast with an amateur down bar here and then rallied against that. But then coming into this move, the professionals uh, were selling that up move. And so the break of that blue professional bar led to a really nice kind of downtrending move managed to pick out three points after this and get out of the lows at uh, 89. Um, you can see this is actually a kind of a pro signal. It's a classic kind of pro signal exit on the downside uh, here. 
uh, where we get exhaustion selling on the downside with blue professional bar kind of come in and I've just kind of been coding this up recently with something I'm playing with here that's this little show me here in purple and it was actually an entry you know kind of a a, a, a pro signal exit uh, type entry uh, level here just showing we were overdone and blue professional bars and so on and we rolled over it was kind of an interesting entry point but anyways that was a good little trade and then I stopped for the day because I was up two and a half after you know, too many trades, so I was done. But um, this little rally uh, that happened after we had a double bottom formed was actually kind of nicely uh, picked off. You can see the blue professional bars kind of coming in on the 1500 tip bar chart, and then we come back to test with the stopping volume pattern. On the 500 tip bar chart, the exact same move down here was actually an end of trend warning signal here, and I love these where they kind of work out where the first uh, kind of trending move ends with exhaustion selling. Uh, we come back up into a pullback uh, and then test back down to end of trend. You can see the blue professional bars kind of coming in here and a flush signal. So, you know, the price signals are showing you exactly the same type of activity in terms of selling. So we've exhausted in terms of price move, pullback, and then we end of trends. This is exhausting in terms of testing uh, on, on price. Uh, with volume, we've had our exhaustion selling. We come back, bearish divergence, come back in again, and we exhaust in terms of flushing out the sellers at this point. It's not as much selling activity as we had previously. And so I like these where kind of the end of trend and the flush signals kind of come together. I didn't take this reversal move, but it was good for quite a few points on the upside. And that coincided with you know this cyclical turn here. So this is, probably should move this one bar forward because uh, this is coming into this cyclical turn. We knew that the professionals were active even on this highest time frame buying this low. Uh, we had bullish divergent cyclical turning point. That's kind of my trifecta here. We kind of take off to the upside uh, into another you know, trifecta effectively here with um, professionals selling cyclical turning point and bearish divergence and so on. We kind of roll over. So that during the day was the nicest kind of sequence and uh, I took out a three point uh, move on the downside here. But it was hard work trying to uh, uh, trying to get uh, an entry and so I suppose the more I come back to the 1500 tip bar chart and blue professional bars is really an important kind of uh, for me indicator of what, where the professionals are playing so uh, could I was trying to take trades in here and I should have you know not bothered because I didn't see any blue professional bars in there and I ended up kind of just going backwards and forwards and that's always kind of bad Anyway, um, I'll tag on uh, this little uh, sequence um, during my day trades. I think that was the most interesting out of uh, what happened today. So hope your trading went uh, well, and I expect a little bit more uh, activity tomorrow. Okay, just a couple of minutes later, and finally we get a, uh, a uh, print on the 1500 tip bar chart. So it's an amateur down bar here. And on the 500 tip bar chart, you can see coming into these lows at 92, two Rambo patterns here, bullish divergence, cyclical support at this level. And a couple of blue professional bars kind of come in on the 500 tip bar chart. I'm hoping that these are jumping the creek type bars. Uh, so because we've broken above those, now all of a sudden you know we've got uh, the uptrend is on so we we could well be you know, here's a blue professional bar coming on the 1500 tip bar chart so let's see if uh, we kind of uh, rush to break 94 and um, break into an uptrend we'll find a little bit of resistance here kind of previously uh, but uh, this looks like we could now kind of head up towards you know my targets at 9650 that'll be nice uh, it's been kind of um, hard work so far today. Too many trades taken for very little gain, so need a trend move in order to uh, make up for it. Okay, just reversed and went short at 92 even. Uh, the reason for doing that is uh, this kind of break did not uh, work out, and um, blue professional bar on the 1500 tip bar chart kind of coming up to the 93s, and we've broken uh, below there, below the lows and we've had exhaustion buying on this side um, so it just looks like you know on this uprise you know we've not put in a bottom yet so um, we're breaking down uh, at this point so you know, another losing trade uh, for another half point so I'm down overall a half point this is not good so I'm just you know hunting around for that kind of trend move trying to get the trend direction right so let's see. Okay, a little while later, and we're down at 1290s, but 
Blue professional bars come in on all three time frames here, one, two, and three. A little bit of a ways away from a cyclical turn on the 4500 tip bar chart. And we've actually broken through cyclical supports on the 515. Uh, what I'd like is this thing to um, you know start to break seriously, but um, because those blue professional bars have come in, bullish divergence, so on, just you know it's just been slow going on the way down. So I don't think we're going to get a fast kind of break. Um, targets at 88, uh, yeah, possibly. You know, there's a, enough time to do that. We're kind of breaking to 90 now. It'd be nice to get into a trend move, but you know, the market's moving really, really slowly. Okay, just came out at 89 even for three, and didn't quite hit uh, the target. Uh, but we've got exhaustion selling and a blue professional bar come in, so it's the pro signal exit on the 1500 tip bar chart, and that's what this little purple uh, dot is there. So. Um, we did finally get that kind of uh, trend break, but you know, coming into these lows, we've got all these blue professional bars, whole series of them on the 4500 tip bar chart. So I think this is a significant kind of turning point. Plus, we've got a cyclical turn kind of lining up here. So uh, um, looks like we might just drift down into 88. Um, but anyway, so glad to be out at 89. It's been a long rough day today so uh, glad to take out three so uh, finished up two and a half for the day and that will be me done that was the trend move I was kind of looking for and you know we just uh, took a long time to kind of uh, uh, get into it but finally got the direction right which is good